Good morning, everybody. Porter here. And today, you know, we've talked about wearables in the past. And I was talking with my sister, and we were talking about rings and stuff. And she was like, why do I need, you know, why would I need a ring when I have my Apple Watch? And it's a great question. And one of the one of the answers could be because the Apple Watch isn't great at giving you, it's great at aggregating data, it's not great at giving you the data in a way that's easily understandable. So I want to try something here, um, hopefully this works, I'm going to try to put my screen right up over here for you guys to see. Oh, let's see, here we go. There is my Apple Watch data. And you can see, you know, all kinds of information here that my blood glucose, which is not great, my steps this morning, which is not great because I haven't really done anything yet this morning, my sleep time, which was pretty good, 8 hours, 44 minutes last night, my heart rate, um, 77 beats per minute, I guess that's okay, I mean, I guess, is, let's see, it just kind of tells you what it was, here's, during last week, your heart rate was 89 to 156 beats per minute, is that good? I don't know, you know, um, here's, tells you about your heart rate, you know, what it means and things that you can go and learn about it and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know if my heart rate being 77 right now is good or not. I mean, my resting heart rate is 74 beats per minute. Is that, is that good? Is that, it looks like it's down from you know, this week, it looks like it's down, so that's probably good. If I look at the months, you can see it's kind of all over the place, so that's probably not good. You think your resting heart rate should be kind of the same. I can look at the last six months and see that it's been all over the place, and the last year, um, it's gone up, which is bad. I know it's bad, but it doesn't really tell you that it's bad or good or what. My heart rate variability, same thing. I can see what it is. It's been pretty steady. That's probably good. Um, the last month, it's been pretty steady. That's probably good. You know, for the last year, it hasn't changed very much. So, anyway, like I say, it gives you tons of information, but it doesn't really tell you how that information, what you should do with that information. But there's an app that you can get called Athletic, and it's here. And it it takes all this information from your Apple Watch and it gives you it in a way that you can kind of more easily understand. It has rings and different things and um, green means good and yellow is not so good and red is bad, you know. So, like today, I can take a look at my sleep. I got a sleep score of 49%. Well, let's see here. It says, great job on hitting your sleep target. I slept long enough, 8 hours and 42 minutes, but my quality was only 49%. And you can look in here and it'll tell you why your quality was only 49%. Because my restorative sleep time was below 33% of your time of sleep and your REM sleep was lower than your normal range. So my restorative sleep and my REM sleep were, were down. Um, and you can see here the sleep stages. It tells you I was awake 12% of the night. That's thanks to my dog. <laughs> uh, my REM sleep was only 10% and you can see there's a little line there right under the zero and ten percent that's um showing where i should be within that range right under the there's a line under the m and a line under the zero and i should be in that range but i'm just below that um and my core sleep is 84 percent and you can see that those two lines there i i exceeded that there but my deep sleep i was only six percent and so i didn't reach my goal there now all these numbers should be taken with a grain of salt right the uh, especially these these sleep stages numbers because I can look at a different app and get a completely different this is my ultra human ring and if I look at that I can get totally different answers on my sleep stages they both agree that my light sleep was um, the most but this says I got more REM sleep 21% rather than 10% and my deep sleep was 18% rather than six percent so according to my 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 ring i got 
better sleep, but I was awake more, 19% as 12%. And that's probably closer to right. I, I was awake a lot last night because of my dog. So it also says I got 11 hours sleep, which um, is really more accurate because I did go to bed when it says there about 7.41. I was pretty tired, and I woke up at 6.56. I woke up a little bit earlier than that. I woke up about 6. So somewhere in between what Apple says and what my ring says is somewhere correct, which is a lot of these apps. That's kind of the way it is. It's somewhere in between. Um, these laps, these apps and these wearables, someone, I heard someone say they all lie. But where you, you don't look at the day-to-day -day information, you look at the trends over time to see how well they really work so but anyway back to the athletic app you can see my recovery it gives me a recovery score and that recovery score is based on my hrv and my average heart rate and you can see my hrv is in green there which means it's good well okay i didn't know that from just my apple watch um and it's good because not because it's 33 because hrv is a very individualized statistic it's not one that you know i got 33 and you got 35 so yours is better or you got you know 48 it's it's individualized to the per person and it's something that you want to look at over the long run you know remember when we looked at my hrv on the apple app it showed a, it was pretty steady for a long time there and that's why it's good because it's my personalized um number that matters to me so hrv is not a, a number that you look at and you should get wildly concerned with unless you're normally about 33 and then one day you wake up and it's like 16 okay okay that might be you might need to look at why that happened so um and your average heart rate during sleep which was 75 beats per minute which is about where my resting heart rate was 74 you know um, when you're not doing anything where your heart rate is so that's that's good so and my exertion this is how much I've done so far today my exertion is zero because <laughs> I haven't done anything today yet so and energy burned is how much calories I've used up so far today and you can see it has carb fat protein if I if I enter in like through my fitness pal what I've eaten so far today um, it would sync with Apple Health and it would give me those numbers. And I should be doing that, but I haven't been doing, I haven't been good about doing that. So I need to get back on track with that because um, of this number here, my blood glucose being 123. I, I really have to watch what I eat, which is one reason I have the Ultra Human Ring because the Ultra Human Ring syncs with my, my CGM and which is a continuous glucose monitor and tracks my my blood sugar all day long and the oops the ultra human ring um, tracks it all day long too and it gives you little hints and tells you things you know maybe my my blood sugar spikes and it'll say hey your blood sugar is spiked you know what did you eat or maybe you should get up and walk around a little bit. Or maybe you should do this. Or maybe you should do that. And it gives you hints on what to do. My my glucose monitor doesn't tell me any of that. But we'll save that for an Ultra Human Ring video. Not an athletic video. So. Oh, did I stop recording? Probably so. Darn it. Anyway. That's the athletic app. In uh, just a short little burst for you. If you don't want to get a wearable, then the Athletic app might be a great um, alternative if you have an Apple Watch and want to know what your numbers are and what your numbers mean. So, and if not, then maybe something like an Ultra Human Ring, it would be good for you, um, or a Whoop Strap. I've, I've gone back and forth on the Whoop Strap. I told my sister I'd send it back and uh, told her that I was done with Whoop. And I got another one. I just can't seem to get away from Whoop. And there are reasons why that I will 
be talking about it in an upcoming video. But for now, just recognize that I'm back on the whoop train. <laughs> so, I hope this video made sense. I hope it wasn't too fast or too loose. I, I just kind of ramble on until I'm done. And um, I'm done. So...